Are you ready for a new episode of Travel with Mirko? Because today I'm going to show you three pearls of my county. Let's go! As you know, I had the privilege to spend two months in Italy last summer and they gave me the opportunity to explore my areas. And today I'm going to show you three beautiful and amazing places that you have to visit. I'm going to post the link in the comment section below. There is also the English version if you want to read more. First off, San Pietro al Monte. San Pietro al Monte is an ancient monastery complex and is situated in Cibate. Unfortunately, you cannot go there by car, but you need to walk and it's going to take one hour. And you're going to reach 650 meters, so it's not a lot, but the footpath is quite steep. And there are some parts where they have very thick steps. So when you get to the point, you're going to have jelly legs. <laughs> I mean, that was for me. But then, when you're going to see the monastery and the view, you're going to say, you are right. The legend behind San Pietro al Monte is that it was founded by the king of the Longobard, Desiderio. He decided to found this place as a gesture of gratitude towards God, because God healed his son, because he went blind. Inside the monastery, you can find fresco and sculpture of the 11th and 12th centuries, there are some tour guides on Sunday, so I really recommend you to check the website. However, if you want to sit there outside or have a picnic, there are different loans where you can sit and enjoy the day. There are three important dates of this complex. So during the Carolingian period, San Pietro Monte became an important place for monks and pilgrims. In 1162, the abbot and the monk took side in the war against the Bishop of Milan. Unfortunately, the monk lodgings were destroyed, but at least the structure was saved. The decline of the place started at the end of the 15th century, and we start having fewer monks. During the Cisalpin Directory 1798, was decided to disperse all the property and were sold to private owners. So the place became basically abandoned. But thanks to Monsignor Polvara, which started in 1927 to take care of the place and bring it back to its former glory. And in fact, there is still an organization called Amici di San Pietro who is looking after the place. Second stop, the Abbey of Piona. So the Abbey of Piona is the perfect example if you want to go back in time. So here we are in the northern part of Como Lake, in Colico. However, we are far from the city center, and here you can get by car. When you get to the gate, you're going to be welcomed by the written silencium, because you are entering in an holy space, and the Caesarian monks still live there. So you're going basically to embrace quietness, the peace, it's a very mystical place, actually. The original church of Santa Giustina was founded in the 17th century, and you can still admire the remaining. A new church then was built centuries later, around 1138, and then was added a priori. Iles varies from Romanesque to Gothic. If we check the cluster, it's got a quadrangular structure, because it evokes the power of number four. So four elements, fire, air, water, and earth. The four cardinal points, north, south, west, and east, for principle, mm -hmm. contempt of yourself, of the world, of God loves, and of your neighbor. So it's quite a powerful message, right? What do you think about that? Put in the comment section below. And if you go to Piona, I really recommend you to stop in the local shop, because you are going to find local products made by monks. So, for example, infusion, cream, but the most famous product that you can find in Piona is Le Gocce Imperiali. Le Gocce Imperiali is a product that contains 100% alcohol inside and you can use it to cure some issues that you can experience. So, for example, you have an infection on the gum, on your tooth, or digestive problems. So, you can use one, two drops on the part that hurts, or you can also drink it maybe in water or coffee. But I really recommend this product. When I went there, to be honest, because I really love local products, I really lost control. <laughs> and I think I spent 50 pounds, but I bought infusions, um, 
Honey Cream de Gucci Imperiali. I bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> the monk was really happy. <laughs> Third stop, Vezio Castle. So you're not far from the beautiful and romantic Varenna. And usually if you go to Varenna, the following stop is going to be Vezio Castle. Thanks to his privileged position, Vezio Castle was used to control the communication to the north. And the legend says that it was Queen Teodolinda, the Queen of the Longobard, that founded the place, beyond some other churches in the area. Because she wanted to leave a visible trace of her Christianity faith behind. So thanks. <laughs> when you enter, you're going to see the falconry, so where you can admire these beautiful falcons. And if you check the website, you can also find days where they do flight demonstration or training sessions. But be careful because if the weather is not very good, they might cancel it. There are also some rumors that they say that the place is haunted. And when you walk around, you're going to find these ghost statues displaying different parts. I didn't have any privilege, so I didn't have any connection with any ghost. <laughs> I don't know if you believe in ghosts, but if you, if you do, you should go there. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and I really hope that when everything is over, you would have the opportunity to get to my county and visit these amazing places. This is unfortunately my last video about my county because I came back to London last month. And as you know, travel is quite tricky at the moment. But this playlist is going to be open and as soon as I will have an opportunity to go to Italy or maybe to go to another part of UK, I'm going to record a new video. If you have any feedbacks, any suggestions, please put in the comment section below and get ready because your Italian teacher is coming back with a new lesson. So remember to study and to subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.